What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Goodview Woodworks channel. My name is Nathan and in this video we're gonna start uh, getting the top ready for finishing, okay? So I went ahead and I took some drop off the slabs. Uh, if you can see here, I have some drop off the slab that we made the table from. Right here I resawed them on my bandsaw. <clears throat> and we're gonna use these to make the bow ties um, for the slabs. So we're gonna put a bow tie here, one here, and then we'll just do one over here. I stuck both, but we'll do one on this side. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I make bow ties and how I lay them in the top, okay? And then we'll get this thing ready and prepped for the flood coat and the polyaspartic coat, okay? So we got our bow ties cut out. This is where they're going to get placed. I think it's going to look really pretty. Plus we got another one over here. And so um, I'm not going to show a full D, uh, tutorial on how to inlay bow ties, but if you want to see it, I'll post it right up here. And you can go back later after you watch this video and you can click it and go watch on how to in, inlay bow ties, okay? Or Dutchman's or double sided dovetails, whatever you want to call them, okay? All right, so, but I do want to show you a really cool trick. Okay, so I got this from uh, John Malecki. So if you've seen him on YouTube, uh, he's a pretty cool guy too. I don't know him personally, but I like his videos as well. But when you want to inlay bow ties, we're going to take some tape and we're going to place it on the back of the bow tie. And we're going to use it so that way, see we're going to tape up the back of this. And then we will lay it down on the table, I have the table, I'll tape it up on the table as well. And we'll use our Starbond CA glue to stick the tape together and it'll keep it uh, for moving when we go to inlay our bow ties. I'll show you. I'm going to place this bow tie right here like this and to keep it from moving I'm going to tape the table And then we'll stick it down like that so that way it stays and uh, we won't actually damage the surface of the table. So I'm going to cut into this video right now and I'm going to tell you guys, uh, so I want to thank everyone for 
uh, the five people that have subscribed to my Patreon already and decided to give to support this channel. I'll put their names right up here. Thank you guys. And if you guys want to be a part of Patreon, go over to patreon.com slash goodviewwoodworks if you want to contribute as well. There we go, stuck down. As you can see, stuck down. We're gonna do the same with all those. Um, and then we're gonna take our knife. We're gonna cut around the bow tie to give us our mark. And then we'll use our router and cut it out. All right guys, now that we got our bow tie routed out, we just gotta take our chisel and rough up the corners and then we'll be done in laying that after we glue it in. We got our bow ties inlaid, sanded down. And this is kind of what I'm talking about, is why I chose to use the same wood, is so you don't have that stark contrast. So I'm gonna, I think it's gonna look really good. Um, I don't wanna see that stark contrast, but I do want the bow ties kind of in there, but a little bit hidden. I just think it's real pretty that way. You can see it here. So we're going to use my buffer, uh, I put a sanding pad on it, 150 grit, and we're going to go ahead and sand uh, lightly this whole entire surface and get it ready for a uh, flood coat. Um, what I'll do first before I, before I pour the flood coat, I think, I think I may do one more seal coat to seal the bow ties. Um, and the edges where I cut, like where the exposed wood is. Not, so there's not exposed wood everywhere, but there's some right here, uh, stuff like that. So I think I may mix them up and do that first, and then we'll get ready and do a flood coat, because that's the last step is the flood coat. We want to make sure everything is right before we do that, okay? All right, let's do that. I almost forgot. I'm definitely gonna have to do a seal coat first because I still have to round over the edges. <laughs> Remember, if we're gonna do a flood coat, which what we're going to, this is what we're gonna do on this table, we have to do an eighth inch or quarter inch round over so the epoxy rolls over the edge. What was I thinking? <laughs> I'm just getting too excited to finish this thing. All right, so let's go ahead and scuff sand this thing, round over the edges, and then we'll be ready for a, our last seal coat right before our flood coat. We're just gonna scuff sand with 220.
All right, guys, we're finally ready for the flood coat. Okay, we got our table sanded down. We got the dust wiped off of it. And also we got our tape on the bottom side to catch the drips. We also put our cardboard down to catch all the drips here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to mix up some epoxy, but we're gonna be using our casting epoxy our casting epoxy to do our flood coat. Now you guys are probably wondering like, why would he use that instead of a top coat, like a tabletop epoxy? Well, that's because I don't have any at the moment and we're gonna be doing a polyaspartic finish over top of this. So there's no point in really using the tabletop epoxy. All right, because we wanna do five ounces per square foot for a flood coat, this is nine foot by four foot, that's 36. It's gonna take about 180 ounces or a gallon and a half to do this top, okay? So we're gonna pour half a gallon of our hardener into this two quart cup, pour that into the bucket, and then we'll pour a gallon of, a gallon of our epoxy because it's a two to one into the bucket and we'll start mixing, all right? All right, let's pour. I'll stand on this side, that way you can get a good view. We're gonna spread it out just a little bit so it's a little bit easier on us with the trowel. Bow ties almost disappear. I know, which is grace. 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 Great. This is grace. Great. They disappear with grace and dignity. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to use our handy dandy square notch trowel. Remember, we're gonna, we want to use the eighth inch side. So this is one quarter by one eighth inch deep. That's what we want to do. And so we'll start from the middle, like we always do, and work our way out to the outside. Using a slight angle towards the side we want to pull the epoxy to. Now we want to pull the epoxy to the edge, but not over the not over the edge yet. I'm gonna get this over here so I can start spreading it some more. Like I said, we'll get it to the edges, but not quite going over. Oh, is it going over over there? About to roll this edge. All right, let me get it. You gotta be quicker than that. <laughs> oh, you gotta be quicker than that. <laughs> That's hilarious, actually. All right, let's start working it this direction. Sorry, let's get this out of the way. Thank you. 
I love how the bow ties disappear ish. I keep doing that, I keep knocking that stupid bottle. to the edges. <clears throat> Just going to continue working this over to the edge. Like I said, we don't want to push it over <clears throat> the edge yet. Sounds like it's, it's raining. raining. Oh, Jinx, Jinx. yo me a oh, coke. Yeah. Trip. <laughs> All right. Start working the other way. Towards this direction. Oh, she pouring. Yep, that's what we want. Oh. All right, now that we got it all to the edge, so I got my gloves on. So we're gonna take our gloved hand and we're gonna just wipe the edges down make sure all the epoxy gets over the edge Make sure we get all the spots. All right. Now it's just time to torch should be ready to go. Man, that looks really, looks really good, doesn't it? That right there. That's your favorite? Yeah, look at that. Look, look at this little swirly spot right there. I mean, yeah. It's hard to even get on camera, but. Oh man, it's, it looks so much better in person. It's an infinity table. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right, dude. So we're gonna go take, the last thing we need to do is take our torch or our heat gun. We're gonna use a heat gun. And we're gonna pop all these bubbles. All right. Always wanna start it away from your project.
Mm-hmm. Justin, thanks for being the cameraman. Mm-hmm. I'll just do one more final sweep. super nice all right guys we're gonna let that set up and that is the end of this video in the next video we're gonna show you putting the legs and everything on and delivering it man this thing came out amazing came out awesome and I will catch you on the next one guys thank you for watching do me a favor hit that subscribe button also hit that like button and I'll and as always thanks for hanging out with us well, I want to go in <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's good. Stop recording.